Johnny Tactical USA is back live. As you can see here, all is a dangerous place, filled with dangerous men. Look at him, he's ready to kill. See, to survive an aisle, you need to learn how to use guns to protect yourself and your family. So, my fellow Americans, to use a gun in the aisle it is simple. All you must do is find an absolute buffoon, draw your weapon, and click. God bless America. That's an easy concept to grasp. The hard part is deciding what weapon to choose. So many great weapons, so little targets. I will categorize the L weapons in for different categories, close quarters, mid-range, long range, and special. You should know the basics. Close quarters are weapons like this fine shotgun. Shotguns are great in situations like this. Submachines and revolvers are great when you need to make an ambush. Taking your enemies by surprise is very effective when done with close quarters weapons. Close quarters weapons are faster than other weapons, but less accurate at longer ranges. Even though its range is high, that doesn't mean it will hit every shot. Only two out of 30 shots hit the target. Wow. However, if you need a mid-range weapon... You've got plenty of options. Mid-range weapons do less damage per shot, but... ...are very accurate. They provide a balance between speed, power, and range, making them some of the most versatile weapons. For example, the battle rifle is one of the best weapons in all. C. Do not rush the close quarters user with a mid-range weapon. Most close quarters weapons beat mid-range weapons easily, so you have to outrange them. That's why you have to keep your distance. However, if you want to be even farther from your enemies. If you need to make a long range pick. These snipers are the best choice. These weapons take a long time to aim. Which make them less effective when the enemy has cover. This is why snipers perform bad at close range against other weapons. Unless I just... As you can see, snipers have pinpoint accuracy. Snipers also have the best range in the game. You won't even know where you got shot from. Another thing about snipers is that they run out of ammo fast. Getting some ammo could be very helpful. Snipers are overall great weapons. If you catch an enemy out in the open, they're going to die. But if those weapons aren't enough for you, Energy Lancer can shoot through walls. The Proton, however, is a special ability. It can hit multiple targets at once if they are close together. Look at that! The Grenade Launcher is a special weapon. It can be found in Gear 4 crates. The Grenade Launcher is unique. It shoots grenade projectiles that travel in an arc, meaning that you can shoot without needing to expose yourself. Unless it hits something, however... The splash damage is great! And players won't get a warning if you aim at them! Sometimes bouncy terrain can make the grenades miss! And the grenades are easily dodged! The grenade launcher also cannot shoot targets at very close distances, it's more effective on high ground! The flamethrower is another unique weapon. It does often damage and ignores armor and drones. Meaning that elite mercenaries' armor stand no chance. And it works in water too. You can place damn proximity mines to create traps. Jump now! 
That's why trap placement is important. Because if your trap's like that, I'll be isn't out in the open, nobody stepping on them. This is a better trap that won't see it coming! I apologize for that loss. Special weapons include drone ones like this grenade! The brick is a throwable that can blind mercs. Leaving them vulnerable to attacks. See, he couldn't see me! And finally, the orbital strike! Even Artifact, he can't do anything against the orbital strike! Only if they're in the beam, but Artifact, he doesn't work. If they slip out, it doesn't. Oh yeah, and we have the drone. It has three modes. Protect, which keeps it above your head. Carry, which lets it carry up to three items. And survey, which makes it scan the area for all the players. When the drone spots players or mercs, it will turn red. If a player tries to attack you and ends up shooting, the drone will shoot back. It holds 8 bullets that do 25 damage each. It can shoot in any mode, so protect is useless. If you let it go and survey and shoot, it can shoot enemies from a higher place. The drone can also be shot down too. It has 100 health, which is the same as a player. Here's a demonstration of the drone fighting. Time for a summary of every weapon. After that, a few tier lists that I, Johnny Tactical USA, made myself. The revolver. It is a sidearm. Unreliable and is overshadowed by other weapons. More a last resort option. Overall C tier. The scope rifle. A great and versatile weapon for taking out both and mercenaries. Great with artifact being strange drinks. Overall a tier. The double barrel shotgun demolishes anything in front of it, but suffers from bad range and low ammo capacity. Overall low B tier. The combat shotgun dominates close quarters combat and has the fastest aim and recovery speed in the game. Overall high A tier. The tactical shotgun is versatile and powerful in any situation against any enemy. One of the best weapons and an overall S tier. The assault shotgun is situational due to its slow aim speed, but destroys armored enemies if they're out in the open. Overall B tier. The light machine gun, just like the assault shotgun, is situational due to its slow aim speed, but destroys armored enemies if they're out in the open. Overall B tier. The tactical pistol is a decent sidearm and a good alternative to the revolver, but lacks impressive qualities. Overall C tier. The submachine gun is very fast in times and shreds enemies and mercenaries at close quarters, but has terrible accuracy. Overall A tier. The battle rifle is arguably the best weapon in all. It has above average stats and is versatile, fitting multiple play styles. Overall is tier. The sniper rifle is a good alternative to the scope rifle and it is most effective against mercenaries, however it might struggle against players. Overall B tier. The Gatling gun is a slow but powerful short to mid range weapon talk and take down multiple targets. However, it leaves the user vulnerable while firing. Overall B tier. The flamethrower ignores armor and does not trigger drones. It leaves the area around it on fire making it very effective against armored enemies. Overall low tier. The grenade launcher does heavy damage from long ranges and is great for ambushing, but the grenades can be dodged easily. Overall high B tier. The energy lancer shoots through thin surfaces and pierces enemies, allowing creative wall bane spots and defensive positions. Overall high A tier. The proton cannon can hit multiple targets, making it effective against mercenaries. It is very situational. However, overall B tier. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the interruption, Johnny. But you're needed back at the Aegis Corporation headquarters. It's important. It's about Marui. Of course. I'll start training you today so we can prepare for her capture.